there are two main goals here. First is to raise money for Syrian refugees in Turkey, in Jordan and Lebanon, and also to raise money for Syrians who are still living and suffering inside their own country. But another goal of the organizers here, the organizers being the European Union and the United Nations, is to have this conference help reinvigorate and jumpstart peace talks once again. Uh, the high representative, Federica Margarini, has said time and time again that really all roads lead back to Geneva. She would like to see Geneva peace talks resume. A pretty ambitious, a pretty lofty goal there when you consider that Bashar al-Assad has shown no sign of withdrawing his own troops and that this conference is coming just a few weeks after the U.S., the U.K. and France had airstrikes in Syria to punish the regime for alleged chemical attacks. So, Kevin, tell us, I mean, how and who will actually follow the money raised here? Once it's donated, how will donors know that it's gone to the right place and the right cause so that further donor fatigue isn't created? Well, this is the second uh, Syria conference that has taken place here in Brussels. After the conference last year, the, the EU did do tracking reports to not only follow the money, but also to make sure that countries and entities that pledged money uh, did their best to follow through and actually put that money forward to the various projects that uh, the money that was pledged funneled down into. When it comes to this issue of donor fatigue, I mean, this war is now in its eighth year. And certainly, uh, as journalists, we try to strive to find stories that engage the public. The fatigue here is very real. So that's why organizers would say finding a political solution here is also on the agenda. As lofty as that may be, it's something that they say has to be done.